Let's start off part three of this one tile city challenge by making one big change that is going to affect all of this city. Now I tried doing this all at once and it just would not happen. So we are going to take everything, I'm going to call it this side of the main road and I am just holding it down shift and I'm using move it and I guess I can select more than everything right and it will still have the intended effect. I just want to make sure that I get absolutely everything. And down here, the only thing that we're not selecting is this section here. But we have everything this side of the road. I am going to control H and I'm going to make it that height. And that change hopefully is taking effect. Yes. And then I am going to grab everything on the other side of this road as well as this road and do the same. Pressing Control H and grabbing that segment there and everything should be rather flat. The first thing that I want to do together is work on prettifying these roundabouts. So we have this one here and we have this one here and up this way we've already got this walkway over here and I remember noticing that these pillars are sort of in a weird spot aren't they? So we're gonna put them there and argue that that makes sense. Sound good? No arguments? Great. I'm so glad that we are able to interact in this way. And we're just going to grab the same path. I think we'll just stick with the regular old vanilla path. And we will give these guys a way to come over here. I know there's not a lot of people crossing down here, but still, I think it would be nice for them to have the option. So why don't we come out from this spot over here? We can turn collision off, anarchy on. I'll end up having to move the nodes manually anyways. I always do. What do we think is the best way to tackle this? I am going to do this both sides. And then I think here is where I will go up and then we'll just go straight across. And what I'll do is I'll use, I'll just move the nodes manually. So if we do this and then straight across. Okay, looks awful, right? Let's see what we can do about that. That doesn't look too terrible. If we take all these four nodes, control H and bring them down to that height. How does that leave us? It doesn't leave us a lot of room for cars to go through here, does it? So if I take node controller and I add a node there and then I take that node and I make it that same height, we do get some weird stuff happening, don't we? I think this is the solution, is to make this elevated the whole way through. And so over here, we can do the same kind of thing. We can make a node over there. We can take that node and make it that height so that everybody will have all the space that they need to go through. Let's get this just off the actual sidewalk. We can do the same over here fine and maybe that's the look and this is what i've come up with you can see lots of people using the paths which is great i think it does look a little unorthodox not every runabu needs the circle perfect pathways right so now the next thing to do is to actually decorate this area to maybe make it look a little less strange the first thing we're going to do is grab this clyde clock and we are going to convert it to po and which way do we want the legs going i think we'll have it pointing into the city so that it represents people in a rush to get into the city, right? Everybody wants to be here. Now, PO has updated since I have last used it, so I just need to re-familiarize myself with the controls, but it looks pretty straightforward. 
I like that. So yes, now everyone is in a rush to get into the city because who would not want to live in this beautiful one tile city? Next up would be to make this space look green, get some greenery happening. I love these juniper trees. Is it these ones or these ones? These ones are so wee. We will use these taller ones. And what I think we can do is use them to line the outsides. Let's get the spacing here to be much less. I think one more. Love that. We can do the same over here. Love that. Now the question is, can we fit any in here and have it look all right? I think we can. I think that's very reasonable. We can just scooch this one the tiniest little bit and it looks fine. In front of these juniper trees, we could put the little vanilla fountains. I do love using these just like so. Grab them, copy pasta, do the same thing over here. Now, as far as inside this kind of like main area, I would rather, I would like to keep it simple. So I think we are going to just try to get some like flat looking flowers happening. Maybe not flat, but you know, small, small ones that will just be there for the detail. I really love how these look. Let's just put these in all throughout it. There's a foot in our way. Who would have thought we would have close up foot cam in a City Skylines video? Love that. I think that looks great. And then we can put in some boulders in here for a little bit of detail or a little bit of fun. I'm going to use these really dark boulders. I don't use these very much, but I think these might be fun just to have scattered through here. I'm tempted to go a little bit crazy with P.O., but I don't want this episode to be 15 hours long and you guys to say, listen, I'm not watching you place rocks for 15 hours, even though my friends, I could very easily place rocks for 15 hours and have so much fun. Are you guys like that? Let me know in the comments below. Is it rocks or trees? Hashtag rocks to vote for rocks. Hashtag trees to vote for trees. I think that will work just fine. And then for the area around the outside, I think it's going to be simple enough just to take the trees that we already have in the palette that we are using and kind of forestify this area, make it look very green. Do not want to obstruct the view of the people driving on the roundabout too too much but a little bit of greenery is going to really do a lot for this place so I'm just grabbing from the places that we've already put down greenery when we copy pasted at the very beginning of the episode and I'm just kind of putting that down first working with trees and greenery is one of those things that never fails to always need time like it looks pretty rubbish right now, right? Go ahead, you can say it, I won't be offended. It doesn't look great. But as we start to add more, I think this will really come together. Are there any other? Yes, we use these little guys too. So let's get a bunch of them in as well. All around this water tower, sure, that's logical. And the other piece of greenery that I want to bring in here is actually the vanilla, what even is this tree? Conifer tree? We will use one of these three trees here and we'll just sprinkle them in kind of every now and then to make it make more sense to have these trees filling over. So I'm also going to come and bring them into our neighborhood this way. Again, just to keep the consistency going. A couple more boulders, a couple benches, and this roundabout is, I think, looking like it's done. As we slide on over to the next roundabout, I am going to give you this before and after shot. What a difference some greenery and statues, a couple of benches make. We've put some pathing in. Obviously, this elevated path looks much different than this one, but I like that. And I know they're probably not realistic. Gang, I don't go for realism. There are so many little places that we need to fill in today. And I'm noticing, I don't think these were meant to be here. 
Let's just do a little bit of this. Sorry, fellas, goodbye. And we're going to come over this way. I think over here, we are going to take this juniper tree that we've been using to do some like outlining of places. And we are going to make the spacing much less. Bring it on over here, very good. Let's get surface painter up in this area and fill this all in with concrete. And we're going to have basically like nature on one side and more of a concrete paradise on the other. So it is time, let's bring, I love using this fountain for the bigger areas. If we come over here, we can grab some statues to put in. We could use these cool guys. I think it is worth converting this to PO. Let's put this one over here and we will make it a little bit smaller. Then let's grab the other one and bring it into procedural objects as well. Make it a little bit smaller maybe just buy the one and then we'll grab some copies of each of them or maybe just of this one bring it in here rotate it around and we can make it much smaller i like that lovely now the next thing to do in here would be to get some planters i for a lot of this am just going to use these pre-filled in ones from avanya I don't think wood is what we want. I think concrete is probably what we're looking for. These planters are just too good, aren't they? Let's grab some benches. I've been using this wooden bench and I think we will continue to use it. With this animated fountain, I like to put the wooden bench along the three sides where this kind of out dent happens. So we'll put it in there and then one more. And since we are focusing on this area, why don't we get a little bit fancy? Now that's, that's crazy, that's very tall, but we could use these little ones right around here in front of these grates. I know, don't you dare go into that comment section and yell at me about how this wouldn't work because it's gonna look good and that's all that matters we only care about looks over here very nice and then we you know what let's do well yeah we'll stick with the 14 put that in the center and i love that to have a little bit more kind of like stuff i guess filling in the area these guys are going to need some waste management let me get up close here and make sure that it is in where it needs to be we've got yes these are the ones i was looking for very good except those are so not in line Move it is just so much better for this because you can hold down control and get really finicky with it. Good. We could do with some more benches around the area, maybe some up along this building. Maybe some other planters along this building as well. We will definitely need some just regular old garbage bins for the passers by. Let's put some of these along the sidewalk. Let's have them facing in. Yes, and some other bins by these planters. A bench or two in front of the planters. And I think the last thing we'll do around here is to get some stain decals in just to make this area look like it's been walked on a lot. Pretty sure that's the purpose of these. With the texture that I've chosen for my concrete, it is a little tough to really get it to sink in that this is used. So I kind of feel like I always have to use so, so many. But once you start getting them down, it does look all right. Taking a step back after putting in just a little bit of greenery along the side, we've done the like, the low flowers along here and just the odd green bit in. I'm happy with how this area came out. What do you guys think? Let's work on this next concrete jungle feeling area together. I can see that we are having quite a bit of traffic here. It's a little bit better than it was when I 
was over viewing what we would be doing. Hello, Chirpy. I hope that you're doing well. So what I think I would like to do here is try to get some elevated paths in as well to help these people walk along everywhere that they would like to. So let's grab, again, just the vanilla pavement path and let's go elevated. And where can we make this happen? I'm going to start over here. That must be a path there or something. So why don't we just do this first? We'll bring it over this way as well. And then that, that will have to come down there, right? It will come probably down in a few places. So then we'll come back this way. It'll go over here for sure and come down that way. I don't think, do we have enough space to scooch in there? Maybe, I'm not sure. We might, I wonder going that way with it. Maybe what we can do instead is bring it over top of this parking lot and we bring it down here. And then we will use the ground version this way. Let's bring this side down as well. Nice long ramp. Now over here, I think on the ground, we will go from this subway station, metro station to there. And then let's bring this down that way, connect them up. That should be fine over there. I would love just one more way for them to cross this without having to do so on the ground. Maybe that will accomplish it, that little sneaky path in there. Let's see, let's see how effective this is. So now the task is to come over to this and see how low we can get it. And I think that might be our height right there. So I'm going to grab all of these nodes that we have and going to control H and bring them down to that height. Then we start grabbing pillars and putting them in the places that they should be, but the game won't generate one. Let's bring this over this way. That can have a small curve to it. Look at how many people are using this already. Love to see it. I think that is our elevated path for this area. I am seeing one more spot right here where people are crossing a lot. So why don't we take this and I'm going to come from here and then go down this way. Hopefully that will be enough for them to get to where they need to go. I'm gonna to try to make this a nice angle there. Same thing though, grab that pillar, put it in. And I think in order to enforce this a little bit more, we will, well, just enforce it and say, please no crossing. Please no crossing, my friends. Let's see if they need the enforcement over here. We could bring one more down this way, couldn't we? We'll grab this, bring it over this way and down. With our elevated walkway in here, I think we need to give people a reason to visit this area. I'm going to bring in a fountain over here, I think. Oh, let's put it over this way. Yes, I think it'll do just nicely over there. Always have to have a fountain in right. And then along with a fountain comes a statue, of course. I think this statue of Aphrodite will suit it. However, it is far too big. So we are going to convert it into PO, which is kind of nice anyways, because the textures are not super hot. So let's scale it down and then bring it over. I am wondering why this ground isn't all the same level. And I think it's just because I must have missed it when I was doing that leveling that we saw earlier. I went around and did all the ground as well. Yes, so now that looks much better. Now what I want to find is planters that are this triangle shape. I know there must be some somewhere, right? I think doing this was the better move. I basically just copied this procedural object over this way and then I took all of the vertices that were the statue part, I merged them so that you can't see them. 
And now we have these two objects that look like they belong together. Now I didn't even mean to come to this area, so I'm going to leave that at that. There's certainly more that could be done there, but I meant to come this way. This is the area that I wanted to get to. Holy moly, it is so easy to get distracted in this game. Let's close down some of our tabs. Now I could have sworn I had some food trucks available. It looks like I don't. I'll have a little bit more of a look, but what we could do instead is bring the beaver tails and poutin stand over this way. That's easy, and we can start to bring some other food items over here. I love the idea of having vending machines just kind of out here. So why don't we do a couple of those? We'll put in two of the same one. I think, I suspect this is probably the only vending machine that I have. It's not. That's even more exciting. We'll get a Coke machine in there too. And we don't need these ticket vending machines, but let's use the vanilla machine as well. Let's make sure they are all to terrain height. Love it. Now, all of these buildings here are actual buildings that need to be placed uh, like within roadside distance kind of thing. Can't PO them, that won't work. So my friends, we need to make our own market stalls, which I think we should be able to do just fine. Let's make sure first that this ground is even as well. It is not, so we will do a quick fix of that. And I've just noticed that these folks, if they want to come through here, they have to walk around. Why don't we give them the same kind of path we did in here? So if we go through this, over this way, and through the building. Hopefully they won't walk actually through the building. I think that looks okay. There is a lamp post right in front of our bench though, and that is a little bit strange. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to bob out the street lamps on all of these pathways because that will solve that problem everywhere. If we look at the city at night and realize that it needs lighting, we can always put in our own manually. But let's get back to doing this marketplace a little bit. If I was a vendor, how would I do this? Let's take these and rotate them. Have them being sold over here, like in the shade. And then we can put another food and then we can put some tables in here for people to be able to eat right so let's grab this bring it around we'll have it be on this side over here just fine let's get these folks some coverage overhead should they want it now comes the time to figure out what we are going to have them selling i love having folks selling flowers but that one doesn't do what i want it to do let's put a few pots down. I'm just going to get everything kind of like on the ground and we can move them later. I need to remember that that one is in the ground and let's get some food happening. Cheese, sure. Bread, yes. Much bread, please. And this is what I was looking for the most was this produce. Oh my goodness, that just slides in there. It's almost like it was meant to go there. We'll get a bunch of watermelons, bananas, apples. Is that what that is? Some of the, and a whole bunch of these bags. This is very exciting. Shelves that have canned stuff on them. Yes, please. We can put them somewhere. I think that'll be fine for the food item. We could do some wine, vermouth, apparently. Let's work with that for now. So let's grab all of these props, bring them up to terrain height and start putting them in somewhere. So let's do this one first. It was a hanging planter going to bring it around. This is signed, isn't it? So let's actually just get rid of that one. Coming this way, we could put some canned goods over here. I'm, this camera work is crazy. Let's bring the canned goods below this. Love that. Is two of them side by side going to look too symmetrical? It is, so we just won't worry about it. Let's get this cheese up on one of these desks, tables, counters. We can put the plant pot over there on the other side of that. I love that. These other plant pots could just be in front of the produce, right? Who doesn't want to buy a flower pot while they are looking at their produce? 
Let's get some bread by the place where you pay because you're always going to want a little bit of bread. The alcohol can be just on this shelf below it as well. Watermelon right beside the cheese. Plate of apples, let's put it over here. This is what I've come up with as far as displaying the food goes. We do definitely need a couple places for these folks to sit while they sell their goods. Let's give them a couple stools. Be pretty liberal with the stools back here. They always need somewhere to sit. For the area behind them, I thought that we could put a couple boxes where they are like keeping their backup produce, that kind of thing. That is our little mini market. Now everyone needs somewhere to eat. Look at all the people using that path. I do love to see that. I know it looks maybe a little strange just going like right beside the putinery, but we're gonna go with it. I always find myself going back to these park life ones. I actually think the amusement park ones are gonna be the best because some of them have trees in them, right? So let's go to it. Yeah, let's just throw a couple of these in. Throw those two down, put one there with the tree, and then even over this side, we could do a couple with the tr maybe just the one with the tree as well. We definitely need some benches. Let's grab this. Let's put some benches along this wall. And over in here, what is the mood? Why don't we go back to our food selling idea, come back and use these vanilla assets just to create a little bit more of something happening here. So we can put this grill right there. We can put the food stall right here. And then this guy, why don't we put it, I guess like tucked in here beside these parking spots right in there, very nice. And then this area could maybe have, guess what, a fountain. Why don't we just use the cheeky little vanilla one though? Maybe give it a nicer stand using PO to lower this into the ground just enough. There, now it looks like at least something different than the usual vanilla building. Throw in a couple planters, throw in a couple stains, and this area is going to be done. Hey, turns out detailing takes a hot minute. So this video is turning out to be a long one. So why don't we just sneak in a super secret call to action here? We are 27 minutes into this video. If you're still here, if you're still enjoying, leave a comment below that lets me know you're still here 27 minutes in. You too can be part of the still here gang. My friends, I interrupt this time lapse to inform you that we have ourselves a good old fashioned death wave, which is so much fun. And there is nothing we can do about it. I've placed down a few extra crematoriums, but really that's that's all that we can do. I'm gonna let the city continue to run while I continue to detail. I will let you know between the second part and the third part, we actually reached the milestone of Capital City. So we unlocked all this stuff that we will never use, but we did reach a population of 32,000. But that's not important now. Let's instead go into a montage of tree placement because nothing else is as exciting as this. Who doesn't love putting down all these trees? Hey you, in the comments, make sure you let me know, hashtag rocks or hashtag trees, which one's your favorite to decorate with. Our death wave seems to have passed and I have put down a few trees around the area. Let's get this guy running again. And in the forestry area, I've put down a lot more of these evergreen looking trees. I've also brought a few of them into this forest here, just again to kind of like fade the tree type in, I suppose. But gang, you know what we have not been doing yet? is we have not been leaving a thumbs up on the video. Here's me being a YouTuber asking you to do so if you're enjoying the video, but we need to get this park going. Let's go over to, I think we were going to use these paths and what I am envisioning is bringing this path down this way. Can we make a path? There we go. 
and I'm going to do this. Of course, we don't only have this little area to play with. We have this whole back corner that we never ended up using, right? Let's grab these paths and start to make some bridges over. I would love to have two pathway bridges. So I'm going to put them in first and then work on connecting them. I would love also for them to be parallel to themselves. So if I grab, and when this work please, I would like a 90 degree angle. I think I'll have to go about here and then another 90 there. And then we can get rid of this, right? The next thing I would like to do with these is to have all of the nodes be the same height as each other. I love that, that's perfect. And that leaves us to go from these nodes over to the path that we already have. Let's put snapping back on and see what we get with it. I think I'm totally okay with that. Now over here, why don't we do like a little bit of a winding pathway up to let's say there, looks good over this side, what are we going to do? We're going to leave it for a hot second because we need to start putting some things down here so that this park can level up and we can get to the next buildings available. Let's put down a park info booth. Yes, that would be the very first building I would like to see. I'm going to put it right there. We'll have to fuss with that land a little bit. And then we have the loo's and a cafe area. So we can put the loo honestly right beside it. That's perfectly fine. And then a little cafe area. I kind of like the idea of having it tucked in here. We can put some tables and eatery stuff beside it. Does that give us enough entertainment? Not quite yet. We also have this park plaza, which will certainly help and I like the idea of putting two of them side by side here. That surely gives us enough entertainment. Let's make this the main park, of course. Celebrate and night tours. Might as well get an advertisement going as well. I'm curious how many people this will draw in. We've got the money to spend, so let's spend it. Now let's talk trees in here. I am going to grab more of these evergreen looking trees. And I'm going to kind of just delete a bunch of these, thin it out, same thing over here. And I'm going to have these evergreen trees be one of the main trees that are in this park. Going to leave that area open. And along this pathway here, we're going to do a line of these pear trees. So these ones at the back will be the like fully adult ones. And I think we're gonna bring this all the way until we get to these cherry trees maybe. Yes, that will be just fine. Coming back up over here, we can grab the younger versions and put them along the front so that people can see off this ledge, right? So we'll space them out a little bit more as well and we'll just bring them to there. I like that very much. Speaking of being able to see over a ledge, I want something very specific here. And I think it's not in this park type. It's not, it is in the nature reserve. I want these viewing decks, of course, with us playing with milestones turned on. I don't have access to these yet, but if you have seen my Dermanport series in full, you will know there is a cheeky option to fix this. If you go to find it, and you tick the unlock all box, you can come into your menus, grab anything that you want, like so, and then go back into your find it menu, untick the box, and it has not affected your milestones at all. So now we can take these and move them about. I think I like those like that. And while we are still waiting to gain that next level, let's come over here and start to plan out our pathing. I was thinking I would use the paths without trees for everything, but you know what? I think I am changing my mind. I, yeah, these trees really do go well with the color selection that I'm using anyways. 
I won't use them along the back here because of what we've done with the pear trees, but then when we come over this way, we will start using them here. Over on this side, I am not usually the type to do like straight paths or paths at certain angles with these parks, but I think this is the time to do so. Of course, I have left Prop and Tree Anarchy on again, <laughs> but that's okay. We will fuss with that in a moment. I think I will bring out from a 90 on this path back here and then I'll go with the 90 to there. Maybe like that for now. Let's grab these trees again and start tidying up. We are halfway through the amount of visitors that we need to reach the next level. So let's speed our way through the next half. We've done it, we've reached level two, and that unlocks these park piers as well as a chess board, which I'm excited for. So where are we going to put these park piers? I definitely, you know, want them between these two places. I'll get them in the positions that I want them first. I do very much want them in the water, right? So from here though, they definitely do need a path. I wonder if we can use a dirt path. We are going to do this instead and I've just drawn the, the paths out that far so that I can use, move it to scooch them in. If we were to raise all of these up, what is that gonna look like? Let's try bringing them really far down instead and purposefully like cutting into this ground here, then maybe the solution is to take these terraforming networks and just do one of these down this way, like so. Grab it. I guess I'll just grab all the nodes here and it'll be all of them. And if we bring it down, that will look quite a bit better, won't it? Use our landscaping to the best of our abilities and then we will cover this up with trees and it will look great. Over on this side of the park is where I would like to put those chess boards. So is this it? Yes. Let's put one chessboard right here and one chessboard right here. And with those down, we now just have to wait until level three. We did it. We reached level three. And with level three came the gazebos. So we are going to put those down right here. I think that we will go right tight against the path. We've got the entertainment we need. It's time for level four. And level four brings us the climbing frame number one. Let's see where we can put that in. I think actually tucking it over to this side will work just fine. We need 20 more entertainment value, entertainment level, until we can reach level five. So these benches and tables, they offer entertainment value. Let's come over here by our cafe and see what will happen when we put in a couple tables, nothing too, too exciting but just some places for people to eat. We can put in some park signs by the places where the paths diverge. Right here would be a good place for one. And of course over here. And just with that, we should have exactly almost exactly enough entertainment value we now need to double our visitors again until we reach 10,000 visitors for level five hey while waiting for level five on this park i realized just how long this video was getting and i want to be able to show you results so we're cutting it here we did of course reach level five and we finish up the park you should be seeing it behind me right about now i had a lot of fun with this challenge although we didn't really take the challenge part too far the city did turn out rather pretty which was my aim the population hovered between like 30 35 000 in the end so thank you for being part of this little mini series with me. If you would like to see more of this challenge type thing in City Skylines, please make sure that you have given the video a thumbs up. That is a direct way for me to know that this is the type of video that you enjoy. That's all for me for now. Subscribe to the channel for more. Let's enjoy the view of our one tile city.